One of the functions of soil that farmers most value is its ability to infiltrate or drain and then to hold water for the next crop. Now one may ask, does tillage help or hinder infiltration? It seems so intuitive that if one breaks and mixes the soil with tillage that we actually help the process, right? SDSU's Dr. Tom Schumacher and team did some great research that looked at this very question. We had a, a rainfall simulator, and this is a very large simulator that was used originally in developing the USLE. So we're applying two and three quarter inches per hour uh, on these plots. That's a one in two, 10 year storm here in South Dakota. And uh, we did that on, uh, on these uh, plots. We had replicated uh, plots and so forth. And what we uh, see here are uh, some of the results. Now these are, they have a little bit of a blue cast to it. This is not snow, this is water ponded on the surface. And, uh, and the mobile plow, water ponded on the chisel plow. And then in the no-till, uh, no water at uh, all. And they were re receiving the same rate, the same amount. But that two and three quarter inches per hour was applied over an hour period. And what we're looking at on the top here then is we have probes at 10 centimeter and at 4 centimeter, TDR probes, so they, and they're measuring water content okay. on a volumetric basis that uh, would be inches per inch. So we start here uh, basically 100 minutes before we applied the rain. And that zero here is when we're, we start the rainfall. And what you can see here in the 10 centimeters or the four, uh, roughly uh, four inches, you can see immediate jump showing that water is at that four inch level, but not at the 40 centimeter level. We really don't see any changes there until we're very done okay. with the rainfall. Let's review the results so far. Well, first we saw ponding from the moldboard and chisel plow treatments, but none from the no-till treatment. And second, we saw almost instantaneous wetting at the four inch level, but it took over 50 minutes for any change in soil moisture at 16 inches for that moldboard plow treatment. So what's going on here? Dr. Tom now explains why this happens. So what's happening here is that that upper layer is getting, becoming saturated. Up here we're saturated, now it's ponding. And when it's, when, as it gets ponded, and that's what we're seeing here, that, that will start, that ponded applies pressure to the water to get into those smaller pores in the soil. Now, when we first started here, you get a seal right. occurring. So now we don't have any macro pores. It's got to get into those small, real small pores. In order to do that, you, you have to have a, a head of water on the top. But that head of water is on a slope. So it's also going it's downhill, down. till. Yep. So yep. you're getting a lot of it moving downhill. In fact, 70% of the water off of the moldboard plow here ended up going downhill. Wow, did you catch that? 70% or 1.8 inches ran off? Yep, and that means that of the two and three quarter inches of rain that fell, less than one inch made it into the soil. And very little of that actually made it to 16 inches. That sounds a bit like a paradox here. More tillage, less infiltration? Exactly, tillage is a quick fix but it destroys the structure and stability of natural macropores. As soon as the rain hits, these pores collapse and form that seal. And that's why you see it get really wet at four inches. But the 16 inch layer stays bone dry for over 50 minutes. Join us in our next video as we continue with Dr. Tom, who shows what happens with the no-till and chisel plow system. See you soon. If you're interested in further investigating Dr. Tom Schumacher and team's work, we hope these references prove useful.